kawaw mat. In this video, we will use negative numbers in practical situations. We will represent integers on the number line and we will compare and arrange integers in ascending and descending order. So first, let's have an activity. What's the opposite? Number one, cold. So the opposite is warm. So parang kinukuha natin yung antonym. Okay? Down is up. North is south. Rising, falling. Decrease, increase. Backward, forward. Below, above. Interesting, of course, that is boring. Now, so let us try to represent each words as positive or negative. So, cold, that is positive. Warm is negative. Down, that is negative. Up is positive. North is positive. South is negative. Rising is positive. Falling is negative. And then for decrease, negative, positive. Backward, that is negative. Forward is positive. Below, negative, above is positive, interesting is positive, boring is negative. Now, let us try to represent the opposite. So, we will have a table. So, I have here five examples. Now, we will try to represent itong mga situations na to using opposites, okay, or sign numbers. So, first, drive 40 kilometers south. So, unang-una natin gagawin dito, hahanapin nyo yung word. Kung saan yun ang magsasabi sa inyo kung ito ay positive o negative. So, in this uh, situation, drive 40 kilometers south. The word here is south, so therefore, this is negative. So, therefore, the, ad, the representation is negative 40. Next, walk five steps forward. So, the word here is forward, that is positive. So, the representation is positive 5. Next is 32 meters below the sea level. So, the word here is below. So, we will have negative 32. Next, a deposit of 5,000 pesos. So, the, the word here is deposit. So, we will have positive 5,000. And then, the merit of 7 points. We all know that the merit uh, is another uh, synonym to uh, deduction. Okay? So, the merit is negative and that is negative 7. Now, let us try to uh, give the opposite of the given situation. So, if I have here drive 40 kilometers south, then that is drive 40 kilometers north and that will become positive 40. Next, walk 5 steps forward, that is walk 5 steps backward and that will become negative 5. 32 meters below, so that is 32 meters above the sea level. That will become positive 32. Now, a deposit of 5,000 pesos, that is a withdrawal of 5,000 pesos. So, that is negative 5,000. Next, the merit of 7 points. So, merit or pwede rin namang an additional of 7 points. So, that is positive 7. Okay, next. Let us try to use sign numbers to represent each situation. Okay. So, ito naman, uh, gagawin natin, i-represent natin yung sign number given the situation. So, the price of the liter of gasoline rises from uh, 150 pesos. So, how will you represent this? The word here is rises. So, ibig sabihin, this is positive. So, we will have positive 150 pesos. Next, the temperature of the freezer is set at 15 degrees below zero. So, the word here is below. So, therefore, this is negative 15 degrees. So, again, below is negative. Next, five points are deducted from a student's score in a test. So, deducted means negative. Okay, so that is negative five points. Now, what is a number line? So, a number line has zero, 
positive numbers and negative numbers. Okay. So, ang number line ay binubuo ng zero, positive numbers, and negative numbers. Now, etong negative 1 at 1, eto yung tinatawag nating opposite. So, ang opposite ni negative 1 ay positive 1. Ang opposite ni negative 4 ay positive 4. Or, simply, etong opposite na to, ito rin yung tinatawag nating additive inverse. So, pag sinabi nating opposite, eto lang siya. Okay? Opposite of negative 1 is positive 1. Opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. So, again, a number line consists of 0, positive numbers, and negative numbers. So, again, 0, positive integers, negative integers. Now, etong 0, negative integers, and positive integers, Ito yung tinatawag nating integers o minsan, kadalasan, ang tawag natin dito ay signed numbers. So, pag sinabing signed numbers, ang tinutukoy niya rin dito ay integers. Or pag sinabi nating integers, that is also referring to signed numbers. Now, take note that a non-zero number written without a sign is understood to be positive. So, kanina, yung example natin sa mga situations, naglalagay pa tayo ng sign ng plus, ba? Positive. Now, remember that a non-zero non-zero number without a sign is considered positive. Okay? So, hindi na natin kailangan lagyan ng plus. Okay? Kapag ang integer mo ay positive. Again, remember that the opposite is also called additive inverse. Now, integers, again, it has zero, positive integers and negative integers. So, these are the parts. Okay? By the way, zero is neither positive nor negative. So, kapag ang zero, tinanong kung positive or negative siya, wala siya sa dalawa. Ang zero ay hindi positive integer, hindi rin siya negative integer. That's why, ang parts ng integer, we have negative, zero, and positive. Okay. Now, remember that the integers on the number line is arranged from least to greatest if you are moving from left to right. So, kapag uh, aalamin natin kung ano ang pinakamataas, titingin lang tayo sa numbers na nasa kanan natin. So, the number line tells us which number has a greater value. So, itong number line, makikita mo kagad kung ano ang mas mataas na value. So, tatandaan na kung ano ang nasa kanan, that is always greater than the one to the left. So, halimbawa, si 0 and negative 4. Since si 0 ang nasa kanan, mas mataas si 0 kay negative 4. Si 8, mas mataas siya kay 1. Si negative 3, mas mataas siya kay negative 6. Si negative 1, mas mataas kay negative 2. Remember, the 1 to the right is always greater than the 1 to the left. So, at it, as it moves from left to right, tumataas ang value ng integers natin. So, let us try to compare integers. So, remember, from left to right, the value of the integers increases. Okay? So, 5 is greater than 1. So, ito si 5 and 1. Ano yung nasa kanan? 5. Therefore, 5 is greater than 1. Next, 0 is greater than negative 5 kasi si 0 yung nasa kanan. Negative 2 is less than 0. So, asan si negative 2 and 0? So, Mas mababa si negative 2 kay 0 kasi siya yung nasa left. Negative 8 is less than negative 3. Ayun. Because si negative 8 siya yung nasa left. Okay? Now, we can also represent these uh, words into symbols. So, pwede rin tayo gumamit ng less than, greater than symbols. So, for 5 is greater than 1, we can have this. For 0 is greater than negative 5. For negative 2 is less than 0. 
negative 8 is less than negative 3. So, again, in comparing integers, kung ano yung nasa kanan, siya ang mas mataas. Kung ano yung nasa kaliwa, siya ang mas mababa. Now, how are we going to arrange integers? So, ordering of integers, we have two ways of arranging or ordering integers. So, first, we have the increasing order o ito yung tinatawag rin nating ascending order. Ibig sabihin, simula sa mababa, pataas. Okay? Next, decreasing order o ito rin yung tinatawag nating descending order. Simula sa mataas na value, pababa. Alright. So, let us try to arrange the following in increasing order. So, I have 5, negative 1, positive 8, negative 4, positive 2, and positive 1. Okay. So, let us use the number line. So, we will have, kung i-arrange natin siya in increasing order, simula sa mababa, pataas. So, ano ang pinakamababang value dito? So, una, syempre, si negative 4 kasi siya ang nasa pinakakaliwa. And then, sumunod si negative 1, followed by positive 1, positive 2, positive 5, and positive 8. So, again, para ma-arrange natin siya in increasing order, simula sa mababa, pataas. Okay? So, si kung magsisimula ka sa mababa, magsisimula ka sa kung anong integer ang nasa left. Next. So, ano ang pinakamababa rito? So, negative integers. We have negative 7, negative 4, negative 1, followed by 0, 3, and 6. And then, we have negative 10, negative 6, negative 3, negative 2, positive 1, and positive 5. Now, pag inarrange naman natin to sa decreasing order, babalik ta rin lang natin siya. Mauuna lang si 8. 5, 2, 1, negative 1, and negative 4. Babalik ta rin lang natin. Alright. So, it's time for you to test yourself. You may pause this video para hindi siya mag-play dun sa answer key. I-pause mo na para matry nyong sumagot on your own. Here's the answer. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button to our WowMath channel. Just keep on watching!